everyone! Welcome back to The Hunger Games! So I'm literally recording this right after recording a world review. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to edit it yet. Um, I'm definitely going to have that up on YouTube first before I have this one. Um, but it's just that I really felt like I wanted to keep recording. So I decided, well, you know what? We need to do that death round, so let's do that death round. <laughs> but poor Cinderella here is uh, feeling a bit scratchy. I feel like she's the one that keeps getting sick, and I don't know why. She's, you know, she felt dizzy before, she's felt feverish, and now she's scratchy. And I'm just like, if Sims can die from an illness, I feel like she's going to. <laughs> Uh, but last episode we had a victory round, or a, you know, one that somebody wins the victory house, and then somebody gets punished into the dungeon. So the person who won was Alonwi, and the person who lost was Ariel. But before we get started, I want to show... Oh yeah, also, I don't know what Cinderella's doing. I think she... For some reason, there's like dirty plates over here. And it could be from that lady who was swimming in our moat last episode and was carrying a fruitcake around and throwing plates over the wall. <laughs> so I guess Cinderella, despite her sickness, has taken it upon herself to uh, clean all of that up, even though it's not her job. But when um, I didn't notice this, but when I stopped the recording last episode, I um, did a few things. I don't remember what I did. I think I might have like given Alonwi access to the Victory House. I'm going to double check on that. Um, but I did a couple things to, I think, set up... Oh, no. Now I remember. I was setting up Alonwi's uh, reward. That's what I was doing. And then as I was saving, I found out we have a visitor. Aurora came to visit. Um, so I was going back and forth on whether or not to do this, um, but I figured since I know about it, I should probably not do it. Um, in Coffee's Hunger Game Challenge with the Extreme Violence mod, um, one of the punishments she was doing, I think it was like Mulan or something like that, she had Mulan trapped in the graveyard and a ghost came out and I can't remember who it was it might have been Pocahontas she came out and actually was able to stab Mulan and everybody was kind of shocked because you know we didn't think that the ghosts could still have um, that mod active for them so I'm hoping, yes, extreme violence mod, options, and we are going, on us killing, yes, we're going to disable it, because I don't want anyone to die. If I didn't know about it, I probably would have kept it, but since I do, I... I don't want this episode to um, end so soon, especially since she just came out. So yeah, I, d I really don't want that to have happen. Okay, so Elan, we okay, I did give her access to this already, so she's already taken it upon herself to take care of her needs. So good job for her. Um, and as for Ariel, as we all know, Ariel. I think I got to is it unlock locked unlock she's gonna go in the dungeon and um surprisingly okay so <laughs> my graphics look a lot better because since I just you know filmed or just recorded um, the world review for jungle adventure I upped the graphics so you guys could see what it really looks like and I just decided to keep it in for this game and surprisingly 
I don't know why, but it, I feel like my game runs a little better when I have the graphics up. I could be wrong once we start playing, but like it didn't glitch at all when I was doing the world review. And now when I'm doing this kind of stuff, it's not really glitching that badly. So it makes no sense that when it's high, it's fine, and when it's low, it's not. So but we're going to go ahead and play. And I'm going to have Ariel go down there. But what I also want to show you guys is Alonri's reward. And I'm going to give her time to use it. Okay, she's in there. Whoops. One more time. And we lock door for everyone. Okay. Put that back down. So as you can see, we have a new member of the family. <laughs> and yes, it is Gurgi from the Black Cauldron as a little puppy. It was the best I can do, but he is so cute. I don't know if I can get any closer. Ah, okay, I'm not good when I tab. Can you... I thought you would face me. Fine. And look how cute he is. Oh my god. <laughs> I tried my best to make him look like Gurgi from the movie. Um, can somebody come get him? Uh, allow access to Wendy. Can you just bring him in, please? Because I don't know how else to get him in here. Friendly. Can I pet care? pick up. Pretty please, Wendy. <clears throat> Where did Aurora's dancing? Oh, but she feels sad for some reason. Oh, probably because she's dead. <laughs> oh, but it's nice to see that one of the ghosts actually visited for a change. Okay, Wendy, come on. And get Gurgi. Get him. Pick him up. I know he's cute. You can you can stare at him all you want. Anytime. What up? Pick him up. <laughs> Probably should have had it along me come and get him, but pick up. But I mean what is she's the slave, so what is she for? She's gonna do things. And I think We'll play throughout the night, and then in the daytime, we will... Hi, Alonwi! Oh, she's already checking out her prize. She's like, oh, is that for me? Is he for me? Okay, well, I guess since she's here, well, she might end up picking him up. Alon, we stink. You gonna do it? Yay! Finally. Can you put him. No. We won't do that. Put him in the victory house. Wait, no. Better put his stuff over here. I should have put his stuff. Aurora is haunting the doggy bowl. Okay. <laughs> um. I think I'm going to change that and put his stuff over here. So put Gurgi down over here. Thank you. Wendy just became friends with Gurgi, but that's not who I want him to become friends with, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm always like, oh, that's my dog. But thank you for doing that. I'll leave it unlocked for her. It doesn't matter. Can I... Am I allowed to pick it up anyway? Oh, okay, just just the bowl. I want... <gasps> I think we have this though. Yes! Yes! Oh, put him in here. Why 
in that. Okay. So I'll probably fix that off camera. I want Wendy to cook up Ariel's punishment, and I know that this will fill her hunger need, but it's still a pretty good punishment, I feel like. We're gonna make her eat fish tacos. Now, Wendy, are you hungry? No? Good. Don't eat it, because I'm gonna work on Alonwi. Oh, she's gonna go to the, use the bathtub. Okay, I'll let her use the bathtub. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's working. It's just working so much better. And then, as I said, okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna pause there for a moment. But I was like, as I say that, it pauses. Oh. Oh. That's what my cat does. If I'm in the bathroom, she sometimes meows by the door, just like, can you just come out now, please? I want to hang out with you. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love animals so much. Oh, oh, oh. Are you done? No. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like um, we'll have Ariel eat her punishment and then. We'll have Alonwi work on her friendship with Gurgi, and that will be Alonwi's reward. Oh! Oh my god. I forgot I made his bark sound like that. I try to make his bark sound... I don't know how to describe Gurgi's voice, but I try to make it sound like his voice. But of course he's a puppy, so it's a little higher. Good job, Alani. Okay, I want you to play. <laughs> I want you to pet him. And hug him. So cute. Give him a big treat. Immediately make you his best friend. Mm, praise. No, oh my God. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Okay, hold on. Should steal that before you eat it. Okay, I'm gonna put it up here. Wait, <laughs> I don't want to do this. Uh, do I have to take it downstairs? Oh, that's right. I can just drag it onto Ariel and then it goes into her inventory. Right. Right. Yeah. No, don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? What do I do to me? Let go of the plate. Okay, now it's glitchy. I spoke too soon. There we go. No, don't do that. Do not do that. Go to Ariel. Oh look, she's she's hungry anyway. It's it's fine. <laughs> Put it in her inventory, hopefully. Please, please do this for me. <clears throat> yes, no maybe so. Mm hmm. Why game? 
Why is it always with the plate of food, too? It's just like I can't handle going across the line. <laughs> Please just work. But see, it's so weird because my game works just fine on a very detailed world like Salvadorada. <laughs> I can't handle this lot. Can you just go in, please? Probably just cut. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We're all good. I'm gonna take it now. Lop it in front of her. And then make her eat it. Maybe. <laughs> what the heck? Because I like to think that it's like... No, that's too dark. I was going to say it's like flounder. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to. But you have to. Oh, she looks so sad. <laughs> oh, she's fine about it. But that facial expression. It's just, no. You're not fine. You're not fine at all. We're still hanging out. Please don't break anything. Okay, where are you? There you are, still in the bathroom. Great. Okay, now we're being funky. Okay. Playful, yeah. Just don't be too playful. I get to know him. Get to know your dog. Oops, wrong one. I want the French. How he sits. It's all scrunched up. And I know that look. My cat gives it to me. She's like, hi. Hi, mom. How are you? Can you interact with your dog, please? <laughs> are you guys. Friend? But I want you to be the best of more choices. Pet care. Hmm. Uh, and, a herb. and we want a mouth. <laughs> it depends. Wait, what? I don't know what that was. <laughs> that just popped up. I mean, at least they're friends. If they don't become the best of friends, then that's okay. I just want them as friends. Pets are friends through and through, as long as they get some love in return. Um, I just realized he needs food, so... Snow! <laughs> Since you're at the beginning of the list. I don't know why that makes me think of Boom Boom Pow from Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> it's not that, but for some reason, that's what my brain went to. 
Ariel, how are you liking the food? You finished it, good. God. I'm still gonna let you be trapped in there for a little while longer. Why are you sleeping there? You got your own bed. Oops. I feel like we're so close. <laughs> Hug. Again. And, and, and pet. And he deserves more treats. I forgot the traits that I gave him. I know. <sighs> what did I do? Because I tried to get as close to Gurgi as I could that he... Oh, he's a foodie. So he loves food. Um, mischief, maybe? might have had him be talkative. Might have done something like that. Oh, yes, you may. Very friendly. Oh, that was what was popping up. <clears throat> oh no, you get to just be friendly with him. <laughs> Are you best of friends yet? Oh. Yeah, this, I want this to be a bit of a shorter episode. Talk to. So we're gonna get straight to the death round pretty soon. I just want to see if I can really... Oh! Sorry, that was for my cat's pill time. So I'm gonna pause really quick and take care of her. And I'm back. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep her as friends, let her take care of her needs for a bit. So yeah, we're, we're friends. We're good. We're not just acquaintances. Chase that tail. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's gonna take care of her needs for a bit. Give her some time in the victory house. Um, I'll probably cut and um, just let her go about and do that. And I'll just cut to the death round. So I will see you there. Unless something happens. And, you know, I'm just like, oh, by the way. <laughs> why are you going to nap on the couch? Sleep in the bed. Okay, we're back. So I got everybody in the living room. Um, everybody is miserable. Alonwi didn't really take care of too much of her needs. She did go to the bathroom, she did drink some coffee, um, but that was about it. She's pretty tired. Um, as for Ariel, she did finish those tacos, as you saw. Um, she was very tired, she passed out, she peed herself, so she's very embarrassed. Um, so I think that's a pretty good punishment. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start this death round. And I'm going to click on Wendy. If my game will let me, please. Wendy, darling. Who is looking very distraught. Because she knows what's going to happen. <laughs> Somebody's going to die. She doesn't want anyone to die. Okay. Extreme violence options. Enable autonomous killing for... Oh, these women accept Wendy and accept the dog. I don't know if you can kill dogs in this mod. I know toddlers can kill. <laughs> and I kind of want to do a series with that. I'm not sure how I'm going to want to do it. but Wait, I can enable it for Gurgi. Animals can kill. <laughs> Okay, two, three, four, five, six, 
girls. I'm going to say, okay, Gurgi is hungry. Oh, right. Okay, well, I will take care of that. Um, once the once the violence is all done. Um, options. Did something break? I heard the noise. I don't want to include. Maybe I have to. Do I have to click on Gurgi? Maybe I have to click on Gurgi. Hold on. Gurgi. Well, I mean, he should be safe. He's all the way over here. Where are you? There you are. You're so small. I can barely see you. Click on him. More choices. Stalk. <laughs> I'm killed. Oh my god. Uh. Wait, can I just say. Exclude this one from getting killed. Thank you! Okay, I don't want, I don't want him to die. <laughs> Maybe as a punishment. Ah, Phil Hanui loses around if she doesn't die. Okay, guys. So Leia's passed out. I don't know. She may be spared, but. Let's see what happens once my game catches up with everything. Ah. Yeah, I know everybody's groaning. Everyone's oh, you broke. Okay, I don't care about the radio at the moment. I care more about watching these girls. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Every time somebody walks up to another person. No, he's just gonna pee. Okay. Oops. Uh, the place. Here. Oh my god. And so far, only Alanwi and Cinderella has killed. They may kill again. Mm -mm. Oh okay. Uh, oh no. No, you're just gonna pass out. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, why is this so nerve wracking? Mm, no coffee? Okay. Wait. Okay. Sorry, I thought I heard a ghost. Okay, let me just do this really quick. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. That. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Like, I thought something was going to go on between Alanwi and Leia. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just how they were acting. It made me feel like something was going on. Um, but when then when Leia walked away, I was like, oh, okay, I guess something's going to happen. Like, it has been <laughs> for some time now. But, uh, wow, that was impressive. <laughs> Okay, come on, I need to disable this. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. 
Wow. <laughs> Let me just disable this really quick for everybody. Yes, 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 I know. I know. I know. Oh my god. You know, I even had the thought, oh, Grim didn't reap. He didn't show up. Okay. That's fine. Okay, everybody's gonna stop. <laughs> We're just gonna pause for a moment. But, oh my god, that was so impressive. <laughs> That's like through two walls. Uh... <gasps> no, 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 no. No! What? But how? What? But it only shows up for... On we. Okay... I think my game made a mistake. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, because this that's just weird, it doesn't show up in my notifications, so I think my game freaked out for a moment. Uh, I will delete Marion's grave and put her back into the game, because we all know, we all saw that Alon we died first. And I don't know what's going on with Marion. Like, she was just fine, and then all of a sudden, poof. She's a ghost? That makes no sense. Because, yeah, nothing popped up that she's dead. Or that she was killed. No. That was really weird. Okay, well, let's just talk about Alea and Alonwi for a moment. That So yeah, that's like through two walls, possibly. And... Wow! <laughs> And I was joking. I was joking about Alonwi dying. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna take her. We will put her over here next to Faleen and Aurora. Oops. There we go gonna set up a little candle thing for her Just, wow that was surprising cuz I mean Alonwi and Cinderella were doing really good and I thought they were gonna be the ones to stick you know at least close to the end and no <laughs> Just wow Well, I'm going to be reeling with that for a while, I think. Oh, no! It does come up. It was very slow. No, no, no! Ariel! Okay, see, so this is one thing I was afraid was going to happen. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I think I'll keep her grave here because that wasn't supposed to happen. I paused my game. I tried to click on Wendy to stop everybody, but yet my game was just like, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. I think I still might put Marion back in the game because it wasn't supposed to be her. Alonwi died first. So, I'll keep her grave there, and I will decide what to do. Um, man. That wasn't supposed to happen. But at the same time, it's kind of like, well, it might be kind of fair. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I will think about it. I, I'm going to keep her there. I will think about it. Um, let me set up the color for Leia. I'm not Leia. <laughs> Alonwi. Uh, set color for this light. And 
and I think I'm gonna make her purple. Yeah. Okay. So, we have Alonri's grave set up. I will decide what to do with Marion. I'll think about it some more because I wasn't prepared for that at all. I wasn't ready. I, I had it paused. Man. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I'll think about it. So Alonwi's dead. Uh, next episode, we will have another victory round. You know, um, somebody's in my mode again. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we'll see who wins the victory house. We'll see who gets punished. Um, I don't know what the game's gonna be just yet, but I will think about it while I think about what to do with Marion. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, I think about all of that. If anyone would like to leave a comment on a suggestion of what to do, you know, keep her dead, bring her back. That would be greatly appreciated. And, um, yeah, we're just going to leave it there with that. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, bye guys!